I'm a manufacturing operations manager. Uh, I look after the manufacturing and assembly group at Probation Nuclear. I started a small pattern shop um, in Cambridge and they offered me apprenticeship. Uh, I served at Conestoga College. I did a full apprenticeship. I moved to London, A.G. Anderson. There I became the full-fledged pattern maker. From there I started my own business as a machine shop and then I got hired as Promation Nuclear. So our group, uh, manufacturing group, we get everything manufactured right from the drawings. So we're coordinating between uh, engineering, so we get quotes in, we coordinate between engineering, manufacturing, assembly, and get the product shipped out the door. We're primarily the manufacturing and assembly group. While we get them manufactured, we have to constantly watch that the tolerances are being met, quality is paramount, and the right materials are being used. Once they come back, they have to be inspected. Nuclear is a high level of quality. Uh, a lot of stuff, uh, the paper works just as valuable as the part itself at the end of the day and we have to make sure that everything is documented and uh, inspected properly. We have a, an excellent team at Promation Nuclear. Um, every day we meet as teams to solve problems. There's no strength that I have or other team members can boast of being exclusive about. The best decisions are made as a team. Um, we draw from everybody's knowledge. We draw from the engineers, we draw from the machinists, we draw from the assemblers, we draw from the sales team, we draw from pretty much everybody to make sure that everything is met in top quality. Basically everything we do affects everybody. Uh, every time you turn, you flip a switch, we have a part to play in that. The tooling that we, go, that we build goes to the reactors and the reactors build power and power generates our homes and everything that we do. The part I enjoy about my job the most is using all the skills that I have. I have to come in in the morning and I have to read drawings. I have to um, be able to manufacture stuff from raw material. I have to understand the raw material. I have to understand how, that it's, how it's going to be made, what process it's going to be made from, and how they're going to meet all the tolerances. And sometimes it's very complex parts. They're not easy to be made and they have to use special processes. Uh, so the part I enjoy the most is that every day is different. Nothing is the same. Every day is a new challenge. Every day we have to engage the team and figure out, problem solve, and make sure that quality is being met. I would have never expected my career to end, out, end up where it has today. Um, I started out as a pattern maker. From a pattern maker, it has been machinist, and into machinist, into the nuclear industry. The industry that I'm in now uses basically all the skills that I've accumulated throughout my life, but I would have never expected those skills to lead me to where I am today. If a young person approached me and asked me what they should do to get into a trade, I would say get contacts. There's many means of connecting, uh, whether it be through family, friends, LinkedIn, Facebook, get connected, find out what you like, uh, find out what your talents are and your gifts, gifts are and engage them and practice, talk to people and when you, every, every opportunity that you get, engage in and, and don't let go, hang on and hang on tight.